6. The clock is ticking to fill an empty seat in our roundhouse. State Senator Jacob Candelaria called it quits a few weeks ago, just months before state lawmakers are scheduled to return to Santa Fe for our upcoming legislative session. And tonight, Bernalillo County Commissioners could choose his replacement, but they're also expected to discuss new guidelines on how to fill future vacancies after some unexpected drama at the last meeting. Griffin Rushton joins us right outside the county commission meeting happening right now. So, Griffin, I mean, this is the first time commissioners are proposing written rules for a replacement procedure they've done probably countless times at this point. Yeah, the Tessa, the commission has already filled about nearly a dozen legislative seats in the past seven years uh, and without a problem, but that era appeared to end uh, just last month. At the end of an already long meeting, commissioners got into a heated discussion about whether to wait for more candidates to apply or to fill Candelaria seat quickly. Some derogatory words were thrown out and the commission found itself at the center of a political headache and that did end tonight. Commissioners just voted to on a new to approve a new set of procedures to properly outline how to fill vacant seats in the roundhouse. According to the proposal, commissioners will only have three weeks to appoint a replacement. In that time, the commission must find a day to hold a special meeting to review and choose a candidate. The proposal states that this is an effort to make sure that there is enough time for candidates to apply for a seat, and some commissioners are already on board. The county has been smoothly running these processes way before my time even on the county commission and this has never been brought up as a problem before. So my question for tonight is whether this is a political um, desire to now change it. But I am also always in favor in more transparency in government that creates more transparency and access for community. So if we need to define closer what um, what this process is, um, then I'm, I'm all for that. And protested and, and demanded. The proposal does include options to extend the timeline, but a majority vote would be needed for that. Okay. Griffin, I want to talk about uh, the name calling and, and some other questionable behavior during the last commission meeting. I mean, that's not getting swept under the rug tonight. Held up to a higher standard. No, it is not. Actually, they are discussing a uh, new resolution from Commissioner Charlene Piscotti as we speak right now to affirm the ethical conduct of public officers. During that heated discussion that we just mentioned, Commissioner Debbie O'Malley did refer to Piscotti as using the B word multiple times, something that she told us that she does not regret. Piscotti's resolution, Piscotti's resolution is, uh, it says that language is against the county's code of conduct and wants the commission to condemn the incident. And as we mentioned, that discussion is happening as we speak. All right, Griffin, we'll check back with you at 6.30 to, to see where we are in this, what could be a long night. Thanks so much.